Guitars. I'm your host Perry Novak. I built this dragon guitar and I'm going to show you how I did it. So come on with me to Get Wild Guitars. <laughs> This is Australian lacewood. Its grain is very scaly, sort of looks like snakeskin. So I thought this would be great to use for the dragon guitar. So we're going to cut this and use it as veneer. Adjust the table saw fence so that the blade is centered on the board. Pass the board through the table saw, keeping it tight to the fence. Flip the board over and repeat. Using a handsaw, finish ripping the board into two halves. Now, pass the two boards through the surface planer until they have reached a thickness of a quarter of an inch. Give the veneer a good tight join. Use a planer joiner on the edge of the boards. Belt sand the excess glue from the basswood body blank. Two reasons for using basswood. It has great tonal qualities and it is very light. Basswood is not a very pretty wood, but our veneer will take care of that problem. Apply the glue. I'm using tight bond. Spread the glue out evenly. Set the lace wood in place. Using strips of scrap hardwood, clamp the veneer tightly to the basswood and let it set up for at least 24 hours. After the glue is set up, remove the clamps. Sand off any excess glue. I am sealing the lacewood with one coat of clear lacquer. The lacquer really brings out the grain. Trace the pattern. Using a bandsaw, slowly cut out the shape. If you don't have access to a bandsaw, use a saber saw. An oscillating spindle sander is being used to remove the saw marks left by the bandsaw. Some areas may need to be filed by hand. 
Use the right file for the job. Using a round over bit and a router table, round over both the front and back edges of the body. Use a file to round over any areas that the round over bit couldn't reach. To enhance the tail, this section will be removed. Drill a starter hole at each end of the cutout area. Set the blade of the saber saw into the starter hole and follow the cutout line. Again, an oscillating spindle sander is being used to remove the saw marks. Both front and back round over the inside edges. Before sealing the wood, sand the entire body with 220 grit sandpaper. We have a lot of room on the body for our pickups and our bridge. So we're going to cut this off right here. Masking tape is being used here as a stencil. Mask off the areas that are not to be painted. This is a water-based transparent airbrush paint which will allow the grain to show through. Use a blow dryer to speed up the drying process. This technique is used for sunburst finishes. Spray the second color around the border leaving the center area green. Be careful when removing the masking tape. You don't want to peel off the paint by accident. After the painting is complete, the paint must be sealed. I am using clear lacquer. Usually I would apply 10 coats of clear lacquer, but in this case I want the grain to look like dragon scales, so I am only going to apply 7 coats.